Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Today I'm going to be painting the specialists, or the Republic specialists to be precise, uh, for Star Wars Legion. Now you'll notice that one of them's missing, which is the Clone Commander, and that's because that was the vi last video you, that you, that I released, uh, which was uh, Captain Vaughan, of course. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. But today I'm going to be painting up the engineer, uh, the comms specialist and the medic, which are all the other three that we get in the specialist box. Before we get started on that painting though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is give it a base coat. Now, I know you've heard me say it a million times now, but that's always the first step. Give it a good spray with a decent uh, base coat. I've used Games Workshop's Grace here because I think it's fantastic for painting clones and stormtroopers and anyone that's going to be a light coloured mini, essentially. I think these are absolutely fantastic. So how am I going to be painting them? I'm going to be painting them like these guys. Now you would have seen the 332nd uh, Captain Vaughan that I painted the other day. And these guys are going to go in the 332nd as well. And I think I'm going to be expanding these into have uh, the whole company. Or not the whole company, but a company that I can play with on the tabletop. So we're going to be following this sort of a scheme. To do that, the first thing we need to do is get this white looking really good. And I'm going to be use, starting with a poth, a contrast apothecary white. And this is a fantastic uh, method of painting white. I think it looks really good and the end result is fantastic. So all you do is get the grace here, that, uh, as we've previously talked about, that's all sprayed on. Coat the whole thing in the apothecary white. And then what we'll do, we'll edge... Uh, or put a, a lighter edge on everything by using a dry brush technique which we're going to be doing now and all I'm doing is grabbing the dry brush getting a little bit of white scar wiping the majority off on a piece of tissue and then dry brushing all of those areas that we've just uh, painted with the apothecary white now I'm not covering them completely I'm dry brushing so it's only catching the edges remember that because that's how you get it looking really really good now the next stage is to do all those black areas all the recesses and that sort of a thing and I'm using the, another contrast paint called black Templar Now, if you've watched any more of the videos the majority of this will be fairly similar we're going into all the recesses now into the you know in the legs uh, got like around the knees uh, around the shoulders, in between the elbows, that sort of thing, painting all of those areas black, uh, including around the helmet as well, and his weapon, getting the whole thing looking really good, uh, and getting it sort of like a basic bog standard clone trooper before we add any of the colours on. And the first bit of colour we're going to be getting onto the mini is the blue. And I'm going to do, do that by using Macaridge Blue. Now, if you look at the reference image, you know, the shoulder pads. Um, and the chest area, the main areas that are blue really on these, you don't really need to do anything else. Just, you do need to take your time with the chest because you don't want to mess it up and have to go back to that white stage again. So just get a fine tip brush and really do take your time. If you do mess up, just use a little bit of white scar to touch up or to neaten those lines. Um, the best thing I can advise is just start in one place, pull your brush you know, in a straight line. Don't try and do it piecemeal. Don't try and do lots of little bits. You know, do a one sweep and that way you're getting a decent, nice, neat, straight line. To bring out the edges of the blue a little bit, I'm going to use Calgar Blue. I'm going to dry brush it in the same way as we did earlier with the white, just on the blue areas. Try not to get it on any of the white areas, obviously. Just touch that tiny little bit just around on the shoulder. Aim for like the sort of centre area, maybe around the edges, depending on the look you want. And what this will do is add that little bit of definition and rather than give you one big block of colour and it adds a little bit of realism to the mini as well. The next bit I'm going to do is, again is another dry brushing uh, exercise just on the weapon with a little bit of silver paint. I'm using lead belcher just to pick out the raised details on the actual weapon itself and get it looking a little bit more realistic rather than that sort of matte black bog standard black colour that, that we had it in. Now this is the bit bit 
uh, that's a little bit more difficult and I'm going to be using Jacaro Orange just to essentially paint the helmet. Now if you use the reference images to do this you'll notice that the top of the helmet is orange and then essentially it follows the curves just around the centre of the front of the helmet which is fairly easy um, to actually follow and then that, that band in the, in the middle then I've just then got painted orange between the top and the, obviously the lines that are followed on the helmet. You can see the orange is fairly simple but then we need to put the white detailing on and I'm using white scar to do this and a very very fine tip brush. Now I'm lit I've literally sat there with the reference image open following the actual um, lines that are on the image that are on the helmet that we see on the screen. Uh, you've got to try and be careful with this and really do take your time. It's a bit of a pain to try and get it looking really good and if you do mess up, I did slightly on the right side here, um, is you just go back with a little bit of Jacaro orange and just neaten up those lines later. Now going on to the basing, I'm uh, starting with a Mechanica Standard Grey. I want to paint it um, sort of like an alien grey planet with some neon sort of plants and tufts and things. So I'm starting with Mechanica Standard Grey, which is a sort of decent dark grey to start any of this with. And I, I had it sitting on a shelf, had Mech Standard Grey for quite some time, and it gives you a decent uh, colour to start with. You can then grab a, a lighter grey. In this instance, I'm using Dawnstone just to pick out a few of those details. And you can already see there the raised areas of the... Um, the gravel and the grit are already going that lighter grey, which makes it look a little bit more realistic. If you go in, out into you know the wilderness or just outside, nothing is you know one matte colour. You know, everything's got a little bit of definition to it. Just to frame the actual mini and to add that um, little bit, you know, to finish it off a little bit. It's, I always do it black, as you know. Uh, just grab any sort of black paint, paint the whole base the back black or the rim of the base black, not the whole one, obviously. And then you it frames it really, really nicely and makes it uh, all the details and the colours that you put on the mini pop really, really well. And that's it. Final stage that I didn't show you is just popping those tufts on there, but they're looking absolutely fantastic, as you can see. You know, with very, very sort of minimal effort, very, uh, you know, few paints. These contrast paints are fantastic for getting loads of detail without actually going to the effort of having to edge highlight and all that sort of stuff. And you can get these really good looking store, like um, stormtroopers, I was going to say, clone troopers on the tabletop really, really quickly and get those gains in, which of course is the main thing we're wanting to be doing. As you can see against the reference image here, I think they look pretty spot on. And what's more, I've really enjoyed painting them, which is the main thing. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. Go and check out the channel now for more great content. There's loads of painting videos including Games Workshop, Star Wars and loads of fantasy settings such as Frostgrave and one of my favourites, Boros and Badgers. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.